I grew up in a fictitious town. It's great. It's a wonderful thing to tell people. When they ask you where you're from, you say Mount Airy, and you, you just will say you're from Mars. Y'all looking good. Have a good time. But the minute you said I'm from Mayberry, they knew where you were talking about. A group from Mount Airy here decided that it would be a good opportunity for Mount Airy to offer what we call Mayberry Day. Oh, run out. The tourism is, it ain't enough. We need a lot of jobs. From early 2000 to about 2010, there were about 9,000 private sector jobs that were lost. The millennial generation, we're leaving. A lot of us are leaving. We've lost, you know, all of our small towns, or a big portion of them. And in every situation, we've lost our manufacturing. It's going to be an auction. $500,000 in auction. High bidder. Does he win or does he lose? There's so much potential to change things here. As generations that didn't grow up with the Andy Griffith show, if we're going to entice them to come to Mayberry, uh, we have to have attractions that they're going to want to see. The music is what draws a lot of people into Mount Airy. An Hispanic family who moves here, they have nothing given to them. Somebody told me, man, you go to North Carolina and prime in tobacco, work in the tobacco, you make some money. So I'm still here, trying to make some money. Well, I like Raymond, though. He's a, he's a neat fella. I don't know, you never know. He's a rock stacker. Well, how are you? It's more than just the theme of the show, it's about how a small town works together. 